So I had a friend reach out talking to me about some different Wi-Fi issues that he has had in his home. Um, one of the issues is his TV just isn't working even though he has two Wi-Fi points in his home, um, he'll have the TV be buffering all the time. The second issue is they built this outdoor office right here and they wanna be able to use it as an office and have the TV in there and a gaming console and play games and have the internet, but the internet out here is not really great. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how we can update the Wi-Fi in his home to have a stronger signal, whether he's inside or all the way out here. So let's start by checking out what kind of speeds we're getting inside the shed. Okay, so for this test we are connected over Wi-Fi and here we are on fast.com and we can see the current speed. So it's about 10, 11 megabits per second. Now that's definitely not enough to be able to run a whole shed of Wi-Fi with TVs and office computers and other things like that. So a few options that we have. Now the, the first thing that he could do is he could run an ethernet cable from where the modem is all the way out here into the shed. So that's gonna take a bit of work. We're gonna need to hide the cable. We're also gonna need to dig some trenches to run conduit for that and so on. So today, um, while that would be my number one recommended solution, the first thing we're gonna do is see if Wi-Fi is able to do that. And if it just can't, we could run ethernet into here and put a router inside the shed so that we have a much stronger signal. So there you can see final test 7.7 .7 megabits per second, which is barely enough to like watch a YouTube video. So we're going to see if we can get that improved by the end of this video. Let's talk about some different options of Wi-Fi that we're going to use today. So TP-Link did reach out to show off two of their new Deco systems. Now last year I checked out the Deco X20, which was really awesome. So these are some latest and greatest models with some enhanced features. So first off here we have the Deco AX3000 or the Deco X55. So this kills dead zones, it works with up to 150 devices, and you can have speeds of up to 3000 megabits per second with this. Um, it's AI driven, so it's automatically going to help um, decide what your devices need to connect to and which frequency and all that, and then it uses the Deco app to get set up. Now this covers up to 6,500 square feet, so it has the three different points, and so great if you have four to six bedrooms. Now over here with the AXE 5400, or the Deco XE 75. It's very similar, but one thing is this has tri-band. So it's able to work off three frequencies. So here you can see over there it has Wi-Fi 6E, the latest Wi-Fi standard. And here is just the Wi-Fi 6. It has speeds up to 5,400 megabits per second. It has a range of 5,500 square feet and you can connect up to 200 devices. So just a little more power in these over here. So here you can see on the side some of the differences. This one works with up to 150 devices. This has the 200 devices. Now one thing I like about both of these is they do have three gigaports per unit. So some other uh, newer mesh systems I've used only have two, so one in, out and one in, but these have three. So that means you don't need to have a network switch at the point. You can simply plug in your game console, um, your computer right into this to have a little bit higher speed if you don't wanna connect them over Wi-Fi. And then lastly, I really like how this will work with all Deco systems. So currently my friend is using an older Deco system, so we could still use that to extend the range of Wi-Fi in his home, even if we choose to just use the two points here. Now the biggest difference between these two is this one has dual band. So that means it is sending the 2.4 gigahertz network from one point to the next, and the five gigahertz network from one point to the next. Where over here with the Wi-Fi 6E set, it's going to send the 2.4 gigahertz, the five gigahertz, as well as the new six gigahertz signal from one point to the other. So the big focus on today's video is we're going to send the internet from one part of the house to the other part. So with this, that would work, but we wanna make sure we're sending the fastest speeds from one to the other so we can get all the way outside without any issues. So today I'm choosing to use this system where it's going to be sending that six gigahertz network outside. So I know that's a lot of talking, but the benefit of using this one over the other system is it's going to be able to send a stronger Wi-Fi connection speed from one point 
to the next. So if you're looking to move Wi-Fi from one end of your house to the other, this is definitely going to be the best one to go with. Now, one of my other favorite parts with the Deco system is how many extra features you get through the app. So this is going to help you seamlessly connect to your different devices. It has TP-Link Home Shield, which is premium security. It has network protection, some really cool parental controls, quality of service, so if you have any issues, you can report them, and some comprehensive data reports for that. So enough talking, let's go ahead and go set up the new Deco XE75. Inside here is where the internet comes in the home. This is the fiber box or the modem. And then here is his Wi-Fi point. So one thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna test what type of Wi-Fi speeds are we getting next to the router. So here, I'm just going to refresh this. And there you can see we're getting quite a bit better at 78 but he is actually paying for 250 megabits per second down and 250 megabits per second up. Now, sometimes it's actually limited by the type of Wi-Fi you have. So this Wi-Fi point may not be able to produce up to a gigabit per second. So um, next thing is we're going to try plugging directly in to the router to see what we get. So I'm just going to plug an ethernet cable here. Then I'm going to use my Anchor USB-C hub to be able to connect it to my tablet here. Just give that a second. There it has connected and let's hit refresh. So plug directly in, again, we're not getting the full 250. So let's remove the router and plug directly in to the modem. All right, so now we're plugged directly into the modem, into my hub. And here, let's do a refresh. And there we go, we're getting the full speed which he's paying for. So now we know what speeds we're getting directly from the modem. So let's go ahead, upgrade the system, see if we're getting the same. So here is our Deco 6E point. Um, on the back here, you can see that we do have the three ports and then the power, and then this cool little top right there. So both points are the same. And then inside here, we do have two power cables and one ethernet cable with a set of instructions. So to get this set up, we need to download the Deco app available on Apple as well as Android devices. We're going to turn on the modem, then plug in the modem to the Deco, and then finish the setup in the app. So the cable is going from the modem directly into one of the points. And I'm going to unplug the old system. So here we're going to head into the Deco app, and then at the top, we're going to select the plus, and then we're going to choose the model that we have, which is the XE75. So here it's saying power off the modem, plug in the devices. All right, everything is plugged in. The internet is stable and the deco is pulsing blue, which means it's ready for setup. So now it's going to pop up on what devices you wanna set up. Now it's giving us some names here. If you do look on the bottom of the device, you'll be able to find the name. So this is 4E70. So let's click on that. And this is going to be the main one. So we're gonna add this to the study. All right, we're gonna keep those default settings. All right, now we're going to create the Wi-Fi network. Now I highly recommend choosing the same name and password that your old network was. This will allow all your old devices to just reconnect and you don't have to reset them. Now it is going through and creating that network. It has created, now it's asking to connect to that network and it is connected. So select done. The Deco is now set up. So here it's talking about the Home Pro Shield. So we can go in and learn more about all these features later. And you can also check out my X20 video where I cover a lot of these. So after just a minute, it automatically connected the other Deco. There you can see the light is now green. And to see that both of those are working properly, all we need to do is tap on internet up here. You can see that we have the study and then here we have our other deco and we can actually tap on it. And let's go ahead and give it a name. We're gonna add this one to the kitchen for now. So um, select save. And now we have both of our points. So let's go ahead and move the kitchen and then we'll do a speed test. And here we're gonna put it in the kitchen because it's closest to the office shed. All right, the network is now set up and installed. So now let's go ahead and test the speed from our tablet again. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure we are reconnected 
over Wi-Fi. Now, sometimes even though you have the same network name, it just doesn't properly connect. So you might need to go through the process, forget and reconnect to the network. Okay, we are now connected. So let's go ahead and do a new speed test. And there you can see that even over Wi-Fi, I am not connected over ethernet. I am getting that speed that he is paying for, 250 megabits per second down. Now I can click right here and it does give me the upload speed right here, which with fiber, it should be the same speed. So let's see what that is. And there we go, 240 megabits per second upload, which is perfect. So most people are gonna be downloading, but having a great upload speed is nice as well. So that works here. Um, one thing I would recommend is putting the Wi-Fi point a little bit higher, just um, that's recommended to have a better line of sight um, to the other rooms, moving it out of any corner areas or anything. And then let's go ahead and check out if it's working in the office. All right, we are back out in the shed. Let's go ahead and run a new speed test with the new Wi-Fi 6E system installed. So there you can see, or maybe you can't, but now you should be able to see, we're getting 160 megabits per second down out here in the shed. Prior to installing the new system, we were getting 10, and that's just definitely not enough, but 160 megabits per second should be enough to be able to do whatever you want to do out here, um, whether it be streaming Netflix, gaming, or so on. And let's go ahead and check the upload speed out here and it's showing around 70 megabits per second. Now, on my tablet, so this is the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, it is connected over Wi-Fi 6, so it's showing a little six up at the top, so a new device is able to get you a better speed. All right, so we're gonna hit refresh, and here we're still getting about 140 to 150 megabits per second. Now, one other option that I have is I could actually pull the point out here and see if it's gonna give me a stronger signal out into this room. So we're gonna do that. They don't have power in here yet, but we're gonna do uh, this extension cord to see if that gives us more speed as well. So here I'm gonna pull the kitchen point out of the house and plug it in out here. And then I'm gonna sit it as close to a window as I can to kind of get the best connection possible. We're just gonna let that boot up and connect. It is green, so that means we are connected. Let's go ahead and run a speed test. So after moving the point out here, the signal to the other point just quite isn't strong enough. It's not even giving me uh, one at this point. So even though it shows that it is connected over Wi-Fi 6, it's not able to give me a very strong connection. It looks like it is working, so it's really important that you have your points spaced out appropriately. If they are too far, um, I would recommend getting another point to add in between them. So if I still had a point in the kitchen and I put another point out here, I could definitely get those full speeds that I was getting. So I think um, for his situation, we can just keep the point inside in the kitchen window and then it will be able to broadcast enough Wi-Fi to be used out here without any issues and that's the, the best um, situation that we could have. So there you can see it gave us the zero failed test. So the next step is adding more points. So I could keep this point in the kitchen and then I could take some of these other points that I have, adding one here, I could add one upstairs. So there's a better blanket of Wi-Fi over the entire home um, because if they're too spread out, you're gonna run into this problem where it's just not giving you enough internet. Even though it's saying it's gonna work, um, you, there is a limitation on how far away they can go. So now let me show you how you could add a third point or fourth point to the system if you want to expand the mesh connection in your home. Now, if there are any dead zones over time, he could take his old system because it is a deco system and add it into his network. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to reset this. And there is a little reset button down here on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press that in for I think around 15 seconds. Once it turns solid yellow, it's then going to go through the reset process. Then in the app, we're going to select the plus at the top here. We're going to select decos. And then here we're going to choose which one we have. This is actually the W2400. And here it's saying, how many floors do you have? So it's gonna give you a recommendation on where to put them. So here when it's pulsing blue, it is ready to set up. If it's not doing that, uh, you can go 
through the steps at the bottom, but we're gonna say it is pulsing. Now it's going to look for the deco, and there it has been found. We're going to give it a name, and I'm done for now. So now back on the home screen, we can see all the different devices that have now connected to the network. So these all automatically jump back on, and uh, yeah, everything is working properly. So now that we have the point installed, we can tap on the internet, and there you can see all the points we now have in the home. So I can put this upstairs in a room or somewhere maybe they're not getting quite as good of Wi-Fi. Now, if we go back here to the main page, just some other things about the app. Here it's showing me all the different devices I have connected to this Wi-Fi network. And then um, you can even see what device is using the internet right now. You can go over here to different locations you might have and so on. And I did a full tutorial of all these other settings um, on my previous video, so make sure you go and check that out. But like I mentioned in the beginning, there are really a ton of different settings that you have here. So I can definitely say we were very successful in fixing the Wi-Fi issues that he was having in his home, as well as here in his new office shed. And that was done with the TP-Link Deco XC75 Wi-Fi 60 system. I think I said that right. I'm really impressed with what the system can do and seeing those fast speeds out here is really awesome. Now I am using Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6E devices. So if he is still not getting the speeds he wants, he may need to upgrade some of his devices to be able to do that. Now the question is, do you think he'll build one of these for me since I fixed his Wi-Fi? We'll see. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna check out this system, I'll leave a link with a discount code in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.